Hey everybody, it's me, Angel Benton, and it is time for another edition of Angel Sudsy Recap, where we delve into the world of daytime television and we do a few reality shows on the side. And one of the daytime TV shows that we're doing is The Bold and the Beautiful. You know, I just did this team, uh, team building exercise thing at work. Um, and one of the questions was, are you bold? And every time, and we had to go around and ask other people in the group that, right? And every time someone asked me that, I would always say, and beautiful. <laughs> ah, I crack myself up. It's so funny. Um, I kind of like Anne does on Real Housewives of Auckland. She does that too. I, that's one of the reasons why I love Anne so much. So, okay. So anyway, so... I'm actually going to actually talk a little bit about the show because I'm going to be telling you mostly about the weekend that I just went to, the Bold and Beautiful Young and the Restless Fan Club event weekend that I, they just had. Um, but I am going to talk a little bit about Bold and Beautiful, the show, because it plays into the actual weekend. So the first bit of, well, the first bit was actually, I already talked about it, and that was the night out with the guys. And the guys from Bold and Beautiful that were there were John McCook, Darren Brooks, uh, Ian Buchanan and um, Don Diamond, right? Now, I got to meet everyone that night except Don Diamond because his line was just too long and then, you know, just time ran out, right? And I got everybody else. So I was like, okay, I'm going to meet Don Diamond at the Bold and Beautiful, right? Okay, so then the next day, though, was a Bold and the Beautiful lunch, but it was very um, exclusive. It was only 25 tickets were sold to this one. So, um, not that many people were there. And it was a fundraiser being held by Rena Sofer, who plays Quinn. Crazy Quinn. You know I love me some Crazy Quinn. How many, how long have I been saying I love Crazy Quinn? I love Crazy Quinn, right? So she was there. Um, Katie Logan, Heather Tom was there. Um, Torsten Kay, who plays, um, Bridge Forrester was there. John McCook was again, uh, there again. So was Darren Brooks. Um, and Darren Brooks' wife, Kelly Kruger, or fiancé. I don't know. If they got married, they just got married recently. I don't remember. But uh, she's Eva. She plays Eva, the publicist for... Forrester, for Forrester International. She's a publicist for Forrester International, but every now and then Spencer uses her for some stuff uh, in Monaco. They usually, and I'm thinking that the show probably pay, pays for Darren and Kelly to go out to Monaco, so they, they write Eva into the show. But the reality, though, is that I would like to see Eva in the United States. I would like to see Eva on the show more often, and I want to see Eva's relationship with Liam develop because... They have a chemistry, for sure. And Liam was there, too. Scott Clifton, he was also there. Um, oh gosh, I think that's everyone. If I'm forgetting everyone, I apologize. I, you know, whatever. Anyways, so, but that lunch was so... It was great because there was we were sitting at tables and we each left at every table left a seat open for an actor and they just rotated and they just sat and talked with us and took pictures with us and it was just incredible it was incredible and i told rita sofer i was like girl i just want you to know i loved you as snow white's mama on once upon a time and she was like you know i was the actress who played snow white it was her first time you know crying in a scene so that was really cool um because i'm thinking but i don't think it was the grown-up snow white i'm thinking she was referring to the the little girl snow white because uh, that's how old she was when Snow White died. So, I mean, either way, it was great. And she was great. Oh, my God. She was so beautiful in that, in that, um, that in Once Upon a Time. Like, she was really, like, she really was, like, wow, she was really something. It was great. Anyways, that was a really great day. It really was. So, I mean, it was wonderful. And then that night was the Young and the Restless fan club event night. Um, but that day was really good. And then after that was the Bold and the Beautiful lunch. Okay. And this was for the whole show. So this was great because it was just, it was kind of just like the Young and the Restless fan club event where they had um, somebody, like they had a show person when they put out the meal. And while we were eating, they were bringing, you know, people out on stage and stuff. It was a little, I'm not going to lie, the Bold and Beautiful was just a little bit better because they had Don Diamant hosted and he, now granted, the Young and the Restless was very funny with Cameron Grimes and Michelle Morgan, but this was at, he was actually, he was a laugh riot as, as, you know, as the host of the event. It was really funny. He came out with like this 
this uh, t-shirt shooter machine and totally shot a t-shirt into the rafters of the ceiling. It was so funny. It was hilarious. He came out and was making it rain with dollar bills. I mean, it was really funny. And he, to this rap song, I mean, oh my God, it was so funny. He was great. He was really great. But the, the good thing about this show is that they had um, a producer, Casey Kaspersick, he and they he showed a picture when he came to the fan club lunch as a fan, and now he's a, a executive producer of the show, right? Or supervising producer, whatever. He's a producer. He's important, and he was, you know, that's that was really cool. That was cool that he showed that picture. Um, I think he was with Brooke Logan, uh, Catherine Kelly Lang. I think so. Um, that it was just awesome. But the best part about this is that now this is something they did not do for Young and the Restless is that they had some clips to air, some exclusive clips, some preview clips for the fans. Now, one of the scenes that they showed was the scene that aired this past Tuesday with Wyatt and Katie in bed and Bill comes barging in and Katie's like, and he's like, oh, you gotta go. I mean, it was just, it was perfect. It was so damn, that scene was so funny because it played on all three of their comic abilities, both Heather Tom and Don Diamond and Darren Brooks with his expressions in the, in the bathroom while they were having this argument. It was hilarious. It was hysterical. Um, <laughs> she, uh, and Katie was so exasperated with Bill. It was great. It was great. I loved it. Uh, it was perfect. It was wonderful. Um, so that was kind of how the lunch went. It was really cool. And then after the lunch was over, then we got to, you know, then we dispersed and then we met all the cast of the show. So I literally got to meet almost, I almost got everyone. Now, because Bold and Beautiful is only half an hour, it's actually a, a little bit of a smaller cast than Young and the Restless. Young and the Restless has, um, close to around 25 people on it. So that's what Mal Young says. It can't be any more than that or else you start to lose you know, and that's, it's a little bit different from General Hospital because General Hospital would have more people, but yet they have them on recurring. Like they had, they brought back a lot of fan favorites like Scotty and Laura and, you know, and Kevin and they, but they go in and out, you know, of the show. But anyways, that's, we'll talk about that when we talk about General Hospital. I got, so the, so the first person I went to was Don Diamond because I was like, I meant to get him and I had him sign the Friday night book because, um, then I had a complete Friday night book. So I had him sign the Friday night book. He was very nice, very sweet, really funny. Uh, and then who else did I, I got to meet? Um, so I met Catherine Kelly Lang, who plays Brooke. And I told her, I was like, look, I love Brooke Logan, but she is very damsel in distress put upon all the time. And I didn't articulate myself very well. Because what I meant to say was that I really enjoyed Brooke when she had a good sparring partner like Stephanie or Taylor. But she doesn't have one anymore. Because um, she, she hasn't really crossed horns with Quinn that much, right? Um, cause, and, and, she, and when she fights with Katie, Katie's really the one that's fighting, really. Brooke just sits there and takes it. So... And I told her, I was like, I like it when Brooke gets sassy because the one time, and this was recently, the one time when Caroline was like, you know, I hope you're not jealous about me and Ridge back when Caroline and Ridge were together. And she was like, oh, sweetheart, I could have him anytime I wanted him just like that. <laughs> and she's like, oh, but just like that that I, I loved it I, and she died laughing I was like no I'm serious I quote that at work all the time and no one knows what the hell I'm doing except cameo shout out to cameo she's the only one that knows what what I'm even talking about but um I, I love that I quote that line all the time and she loved it she's great um, I got to meet, um, Sally Sp and we did a, we did a, we did a picture together where we were both snapping and it wasn't supposed to be a picture. It was supposed to be a boomerang, but unfortunately it was a still photo. So, um, but it was, it did come out really cute though. So you'll see that I got to meet Sally Spectra and I told her, I was like, sweetheart, let me tell you something. First of all, you want, you tied with the best, with Erica Jane for best dressed female at the daytime Emmys. It was, she said she actually had a hand in, in the de designing of her dress, but she said she tried to design it with Paul Atu. So that's, that was awesome. She was like, you know, I'm playing a designer on TV, you know? So that was really cool. That was super cool. 
And I was like, you know, it's very difficult to be a new character and to come front burner on a story. And because a lot of times, if if you don't nail it right away, the audience is really over you real quick. Or we're at least over waiting for you to learn how to basically act on a soap opera. And you just came in and you were a natural right away. Like, boom, you got it. And you've got, I'm, I'm all in. And it's wonderful. And she was just, she was like, thank you so much. You are so wonderful. And then I got to meet Saul. And I told Saul, I was like, you know what? I want to see Saul hook up with Caroline. So let's make that happen, right? Let's hashtag Saraline for all you shippers out there. If you want to be a crazy shipper, be a crazy shipper for Saul and Caroline. Saraline. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Um, and I also got to meet, oh, and God, I got to meet Anna Maria Horsford, who plays... Um, uh, Vivian on uh, Maya and Nicole's mom. And I got to meet Patrika Darbo, who is just one of the fiercest people ever. And I told her, I was like, you know what, girl? I loved you when you were Nancy Wesley on Days of Our Lives and you had that hot ass husband. And I was like, okay, girl, you better get some. You better get it. Woo. She was, she loved it. She was like, yeah, I keep in touch with him. He just, he's producing Dear Evan Hansen on Broadway. And it was, that was really cool. Uh, and she just, uh, she was incredible. Um, who else did I get to be? I got to meet Ashley Brewer and I was like, you know, cause she's from Brisbane, but she spent a lot of time in Melbourne. And I was like, do you know any of the Real Housewives of Melbourne? She's like, no, <laughs> I don't know any of them. She's like, I do know of Gina Liano, but that's the only one that I really know. I don't know any of the other housewives. I was like, you, and she's like, I've never watched the show. Is it good? I was like, the Housewives of Melbourne is my favorite out of the entire franchise, out of the entire country, out of, you know, Cheshire, Auckland. It Melbourne is everything. So, in fact, that was actually the first episode of Suzy Recap, was a recap of Real Housewives of Melbourne. So she said she's going to uh, binge watch it, and I was like, you've got to watch it on Bravo, uh, on the Bravo app, because they have all the episodes. So you should binge watch the Real Housewives of Melbourne on the Bravo app. It's great. And, and you know, you can always find it on... Um, uh, YouTube or Hulu or whatever the hell. I don't know. But you can find it. So you should definitely binge watch it. It's great. So she was... Oh, and I met Caroline. Now, I'm not going to lie. It was kind of weird because... Um, uh, I didn't I didn't know because I know that she was married to Robert Ab Adamson and I know that they've gotten divorced but I didn't know how friendly and even if it, they the, the press said it was friendly I didn't know if it was actually friendly but she seemed really cool uh, she mentioned him she was like you know she mentioned Alita's daddy that's her, her beautiful little baby girl and she was and I was like you know I didn't want to say anything yesterday at the Young and the Restless event but you kind of had the most chemistry with Noah, you know, and you just had this one scene where you had these these parting glances and it was like there was chemistry in the air and that was kind of refreshing, right? So she was very, she was, she was the best. She was like, you know, um, she was like, she, I, she was like, I hope, I, I thought I was going to get together with Carter and I was like, oh, that's interesting. And I was like, um, I wanted you to get together with Saul She's like, so I was like, yeah, because it could be an opposite side of the tracks thing where the two of you are teaming up to get your exes away from each other and you end up falling for each other instead. And then you've got your two different socioeconomic backgrounds. She's like, oh, that's interesting. Get on it, Bradley Bell. I'm telling you. Um, but it, she was great. She was wonderful. Oh, my God. I'm running out of time. So I suppose this is this will be it. For, oh, and I got to meet... Um, Allie, Allie Mills, who plays Pam. And she was the mom on The Wonder Years. She was great, too. Wonderful. I mean, everyone was so nice. I can't get over how nice everybody was. I even had to stop next to um, Rena Sofer and just... She's the only one I, I saw twice. Because if I saw them at the, on the Friday night event, I didn't really take the time to go see them again because I didn't have the time to spare. And if I saw them and... Um, like Reen, and if I saw them at the lunch the day before, I didn't go spend any time with them again, just because I needed to get see as many new people as possible. So I did get to see Rena Sofer though, because I had to thank her for the the lunch the day before, and she was just incredible. So, anyways, thank you so much for logging on today. I know it's this is a long one. I do appreciate you um, logging on to my Twitter and Instagram at Angel Benton. Please feel free to follow me on either or both, and you can hashtag Bold and Beautiful to talk about the Bold and Beautiful, or you can also hashtag R H O N why or Real Housewives shit to talk about the Real Housewives of New York because that's coming up next part two of the reunion 
And um, you can hit that subscribe button on the YouTube channel to get my YouTube videos sent to your inbox every single day. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. Have a wonderful night. Oh, God, tomorrow I'm sitting for the CAPM test. Okay, have a wonderful night. Peace out. Wubba, wubba, wubba.